What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and today we're talking bins, aka folders within DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna show you the basics of how to create a bin within your media pool, but I'm also gonna show you a real neat trick of importing folders directly in to DaVinci Resolve. It's a really quick and easy way of organizing all of your media within DaVinci Resolve so you know exactly what you're doing. Now this is something you should get used to doing before you start your projects, because it's just easiest to arrange everything on your PC first, and then import the folders into DaVinci Resolve, and then you're ready to go. So with all that out of the way, let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve. I'm currently on the Edit tab, and I've got my media pool open, as you can see, but I've not yet created any bins or imported any media. So to work with bins, it's actually really easy. All you need to do, underneath the word master here, just right click, and then you've got the option to add a new bin. Give that a click. It'll create bin number one, and then you can give that a name. So I'm just gonna call this one test one. And then we'll just click on it, any empty space to make sure that's confirmed and there we go. So now we've got our master at the top and within master we've got a test one folder. We can then import any media into here and it will remain within that test folder. If I want to create a new folder or bin within this test one, all I do, right click over here this time because this is within the test one folder and then we go to add bin and now we've got a bin two within test one. We can then use this little drop down here to just expand or minimize that bin or folder just to keep things tidy. If I want to create an additional bin within the master, we just click on master. We can see it's in master here because it says it at the top. We can see our test one folder here. So then if I just right click, add a bin, we'll call this one test two so it's nice and easy to follow. And then if we open up test two, we can right click, add a bin. And as you can see, we can just start to create a folder structure for all of our media, which just helps us to stay organized. But there's actually a slightly easier way. So I'm just gonna highlight these, we'll right click and remove all of these bins, so we'll start from fresh. So what we're gonna do now, rather than making the structure within DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna make the structure within Windows or Mac on your PC itself, and then just import those folders directly into DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you want to do is to open up a file explorer. Now, if you're like me, you've got DaVinci Resolve on a full screen window, so you can't actually see your shortcuts across the bottom. All you need to do, click on the word workspace, come down to full screen window and untick that. And then we can see all of our tools across the bottom. I'm gonna click on the little yellow folder, which will open up File Explorer, and then we're just gonna browse to the location where we want to create our structure. So here's my folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. So I'm gonna right click new folder, all within Windows, I'm going to call this one Demo Project. We're going to open up this Demo Project, and then within here, we can create all of the different folders that we want. So let me just right click, we'll go to New, New Folder. We may have one for A Roll, and then we may have another, let's just go with B Roll, and we'll do one more, we'll call this Audio. And then I'm going to open up my Audio. I'm gonna create another structure in here. So we'll go with music and we'll have one more effects. So now we've got this really basic but well-organized structure. We've got our project. Within the project, we've got three folders. And then within one of those folders, our audio, we've got two additional folders. And then from this point, you can just import your media onto this drive. So plug in your SD card and just make sure that you put all of the files in the correct place. So I'm just going to do that now. So if I open up my A roll, I've got my main A roll footage in there. If I open up my B roll, I've got some B roll footage. And then within audio, within effects, there's some sound effects. And within music, there's my music. And then all we need to do, go back to the top of this folder structure. So we're going to keep going back right the way until we see the demo project folder. And then I'm just going to click and hold my mouse and we're going to drag this folder over to DaVinci Resolve. Now what you want to do is release it over here on this left hand side underneath the word master. And as you can see, let's just minimize this. What it's done is imported all of our project files, but it's also kept the same structure. So we've got our demo project at the top. Within that, we've got our A roll, our audio and our B roll. So we can expand that. If I go B roll, there's my B roll. If we go A roll, there's my A roll footage. And then within audio, we've got music and we've got effects. So we can give those a click and we've got the relevant files within there. It's a really great way of staying organized because you create the structure on your PC itself, which you can then just import in one big go 
into DaVinci Resolve so you stay organized and you always know where everything is. From here, you can always add additional bins or folders if you want to, or if you need to, let me just open up my folder again. We'll go to Demo Project, we'll right click, New Folder, let's just call this one Photos. We'll make sure we've got some media within there. So I've got my PNG within there now. So let's go back one. We've got photos. We're going to click, we're going to drag, and we're going to release that on the word demo project because I want the photo folder to exist within the demo project. And there we go. Now we've got a folder or a bin called photos with everything contained within there as well. Easy peasy, really nice way to stay organized within DaVinci Resolve. Hey, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback, make sure to put them down in the comments section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.